Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to kick out uh, custom mats in a very easily digestible way inside of Houdini. All right, cool. So we're using um, one of my latest packs, uh, RMA Fire um, Parking Lots Pack Volume 1 for the HDRI. We are gonna create a basic material, RS material and redshift material just a default material in here and um, taking the liberty let's just name this test to create a prop here that we can do render view this was a test that i was doing prior to the tutorial uh in here we're gonna go to here and let's just try to render this to see if we get something basic So I'm just gonna create it. Come here to the camera and visualize this from a different angle. <clears throat> Let's just increase the HDRI's intensity. And let's just rotate it a little bit. Cool, I just wanted to get a decent view. So um, let's say for example, uh, our girl here, Aphrodite, had a pair of really big um, earrings. Displays one right there, mirror it, and actually she one right there, the other one here. Smash this through here. And merge this here. So first things first, we're gonna do material, and we're gonna tr apply to Aphrodite the test material. And we're gonna create another material and apply it to the earrings. So right now, if we come here to the earrings, we could do it with the same material, but I'm gonna show you guys just with two materials because it's earrings. Because I would assume that in the real in, in the real case scenario, like the earrings would be a different material from the face. So we do here earrings. Now what we want to do is we want to have a custom attribute for the face. So um, right now we don't have any custom attributes. So what we want to do is if we write wrangle here and we put it in here and we want this attribute to be equal to like a white color. So it can be anything. So it's going to be a vector at face is equal to one. So that's going to make the face have a value of one. And we're gonna do the same thing for the earrings, but in this case, we're gonna do the at ear equal to one. So if we come here onto the material, onto the test, we will add the AOV right here. RS point attribute first, and the attribute that we're doing is called face. E and store color to AOV is gonna be the second thing. And we wanna store this here. The name is face. We wanna paste that here as well. And 
you also want to come onto your out context and on the out AOV manager, you're going to add one more AOV and we're going to say this is a custom AOV named face, right? And I'm going to go ahead and add another one. This is also a custom AOV and called ear. The ear one we haven't created yet, so we have to come here and I'm going to do it one more time for you guys. So first we need the, our attribute. We called it ear. And then we want to RS point attribute. I mean RS, RS AOV, store color to AOV. So we're going to put that here. We're going to collect connect this here and this is called ear so we also want to connect it here as the first AOV from here and then let's test this out so we have the gold we have the face if we click here we have the ears see as a mat and we also have the face here as a mat so we would be able to isolate that part of the geometry. Now, we can also do something like have a bunch of different parts of the geometry that needs the same material. So we're gonna make it with gold. And then if we go here into our ears, we can call, grab this attribute Connect it down here as well. You're gonna copy the name here, face, and we're gonna paste it at the second attribute of this material and stack up a bunch of them. So in this case, you will see that the face mat still shows up. So the, the material is just one, but the mats still work because the it's just reading the AOV that we wrote the name. So you can have a face with like eyebrows, a bunch of stuff that is the same material, but isolated using custom mats. And you can actually take this further too. Like, you know, if this was particles and the particles had, say for example, well, I'm gonna do this real quick. We have the scattered points onto the geometry. We have a pop net. We connect the pop net here. We want to do all points, all points and the pop net, pop force. We're going to add a little bit of pop force. Come out of it. Boom. Hit play. We got something like this, super rough. But if you middle click, we have all of these attributes here. So what if I wanted to like color it based on age per se so we grab this we add the color ramp based on the velocity and we're gonna make this from red to green and i want to have more green in here so in this case this is going to be, we're going to store the AOV or the color because we, we're going to store the velocity. You could do it with the velocity or you could do it with the color. So if we come here, we're going to do store the color onto my third AOV. And here, I also want to store the color. We're going to come out here and we're going to select the new one. Custom AOV. And this is going to be color as well. Let's come here. Object. We're going to have to render this as particles. Let's do particles at 0.1 in scale. And here we are going to select the material earrings.
so if we render I mean the the color is being inherited because we need to go into the beauty to see the metal the ear is been all mixed in but if we go to color you will see that you will get like um, the actual colors from the simulation so you're getting the actual colors there of course like the ear isn't gonna work because we have totally mixed it up here and uh, it's no longer gonna know where the color is but you can see that you can use this to create custom mats for any kind of attribute all right guys i hope this is helpful and we'll be back with more